guys, Cruel Blonde Wave, I'm Eric. I'm Rick. I'm Aaron. And just like my weight in high school, no, third grade, this is 215. Huh? Everything off the table. Hi, everybody. How are you today? Calvin's out this week. We are opening some gifts. What we got? Looks like anime. It does look like anime. It's a cool cover, too. Yeah, it's like embossed. And it said nothing. <laughs> Say something! Jeff, I'm trying to read this. Wait, is that... Um, I bet the note would tell me. I can't... You know what I mean? Like, what's the... <laughs> pro... Prom... What's that comment on there? Prom peer. Prom prom. Prom prom! Aaron. I don't think that's right. <laughs> hey, guys. I don't know if you already have this. Sorry. If you do, it's an anime movie from the same studio who made Garen Lagan. Oh. Make sure commenters know... That same studio is in quotes from Raccoon Shampoo. Well, okay. He didn't tell me what it was. Uh, well, I definitely uh, recognize your style from Garden Lagoon. Yeah. Uh, yeah. First feature length film from acclaimed studio Trigger, creators of Kill a Kill and Little Witch hmm. Academia, and okay. director Hiroyuki Imiyashi from hmm. Garden Lagoon. Okay. Pro Mare. Is a blistering action adventure that will set your soul on fire. Pro mare. I was fire. close. Fire. What? Close. You said like Pompeii. Well, yes. Cool. And which is also on fire. <laughs> <laughs> on fire. Is that insensitive? It's not too. It's not too soon for that, right? No. I mean, Pompeii. Fucking watch Doctor Who. They just yeah. made a show about it. Yeah, it's fine. It burned down. Mm. Actually, they didn't burn it down. They just encased it in lava. Thank you, Hercules. Eric, it cannot be good for your teeth. It can be. I have strong teeth. You, you, you're destroying them with metal. I used to bite off the top, so it's a lot better than what I used to do. Bite off the top. Yes, this whole thing right here, I would just grab it and rip it off with my teeth. Like a claw machine? Yeah. Then someone got hurt and I had to stop. Did you used to chew aluminum foil as a kid, too? <laughs> I did that once, it hurts. You have feelings. It's terrible. Oh, yeah, Rick. Uh, I've got a magnet yeah. of a green M&M who's bald. That is mustache. totally Dr. Phil. It's Dr. Phil? That looks exactly like Dr. Phil. I think it is Dr. Phil. That's I'm right. right, correct? No, it's an M&M. No, but it's Dr. Phil as an M&M. That's got to be a thing, because that, if it's not, it's got to be. i got to look this up. Dr. Phil m and I'm going to do something never done. I'm going to Google Dr. Phil m and they made swords? They're metal, right? Yeah, but I don't think they're the right kind of metal. Oh, they are! <laughs> oh, Rick! Bam. He's trying all the other shit! He's doubted me! <laughs> I know. Yeah. Well, thank you. Dr. Phil and Manu. That's, that's the first it. thing that pops up. I don't know who this is from. Why? I expected a letter. I am perplexed, but thank you. Dr. Phil Eminem refers to a character online resembling a cross between television psychologist Dr. Phil and the Graham Eminem character. Since first appearing in 2008, it has been widely regarded as a disturbing character and saw a spike in use in 2017 after being used by videos by YouTuber Synthetical. Yeah. Aaron's way more disturbing. Huh. Yeah. We can barely see it back here. You should grow a mustache. Well, Tim. now everybody watching the mailbag will know. I have a mustache. And more stuff. The character comes from a print ad campaign run by Eminem in 2007-2008 with the theme, There's a Little Eminem in All of Us. The campaign edited Eminem's I remember that. in the likeness of celebrities. Yeah. Wow. Hmm. So Eminem made that? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well. What's, I, um... I love the Know Your Meme website. You should get this, Aaron. What? Oh, it's great. That's a meme? It's not a meme, it's an advertiser. It's been used for other things. It was taken and used as a meme. I want to be an m M&M. They should make us m ms We think like a little like a little Rick, Eric, like Aaron m M&M would look like. What, mine kind of, would, what have, would you be? Mine would be a cannibal and eat itself. Like you're eating yourself? You're, you're red eating with my blood. Is it, is it a cannibal to eat yourself? I mean, I'm human. It's Actually, auto, I'm an M&M. It's auto-cannibalism. Mm. Then. Yep. I think there's different rules. Are you m M&M or peanut m M&M? I am not a peanut Thank you for gracing our set with this. I'm chocolatey. Goodness. You know, the way we have, like, mailbags set up now, like, we don't actually look back at Rick. We just, like, stare at him forwards. Because we, we have a television that we can see Rick on. But, like, it's like that classic, like, 
I knew you came in the room, Rick. <laughs> you know? <laughs> the way we interact with you. Huh? You know, like kind of trope where like someone walks into the room and it's like, hello, John. Oh, how do you know I was here? We do that with Rick. It's like Mr. Claw. Yeah. The Claw. My turn. Let's start with a letter. That's three different claw references in one, Rick. Three, you made one by that Inspector Gadget. I did the, t the Toy Story sound while doing the liar, liar. <laughs> you guys have all seen Max the Product Inspector Gadget. Do ba do ba da. All right, please pass to Eric or Aaron. Sorry, Calvin or Rick, but I believe the other two are better suited for this. All right. Suited? I'm not wearing a suit. Not today. Not today! You need to make a series of clothes that are casual clothes that are tear away to reveal suit underneath. Oh my god. What am I thinking of? Not today, Satan! <laughs> what is that? I, I did that. We didn't use it, but I did it for the shield intro. It's from something, though. It's from something. Though. Well, yeah. Like, you didn't create that. It's a meme. You want me to go to know your meme? Yep. This episode of Mailbag brought to you by Know Your Meme. Bling. Not today, Satan. <clears throat> I feel like it was in community at one point, but I'm not sure that's where it started. Nine results for Not Today, Satan. Dank Christian memes. It's from Dank Christian memes. Uh, so this letter is all in Arabish. Two pages! Well, oh man, good luck, it's hard to read. I've been brushing it's possible. Arabish for a while. It's actually possible to read Arabish. Well, yeah, it's actually like in a... I mean, it's impossible to read Japanese if someone sent us that. No, you. like, if you I, look at the letters, you can kind of guess what they are. No, some of them are fucking weird, Eric. Some but some of them are really shit. hard. I mean, it says, hello. The first word is hello. Open if you are a cheater is this one. All right. Well, Eric's a cheater. Cheater, cheater, pumpkin. I'm going to sit here and figure this out. All right, guess what? I was ready. I was right, I mean. You were right. Uh, hello! You just hello. guessed. What's the next word? What would you guess would be the What's next word? Blind. No. It's crew. Crew. At blind wave. No, of blind wave. I was going to say, it just didn't have blind oh. letters? Yeah, here's should, blind wave. Should at least be the number of letters. What's the next sentence? If you can get it, I will give you a dollar. I have. No. What? I'll give you one more chance. It's not I? It is I. And it's not an H? It is an H. Hope. Okay, um, Rick gets I 10 cents. Hope you. Yeah. Um, guys. Yeah. Are. Yeah. Uh, doing. No. I don't know what that is. Uh, that's an I there. Uh huh. No, it, having. 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 Uh, that's not an A, is it? It, might, it is. Is it an A? It looks like it's weird. Okay. Good. No. No. Great. No, having a. Having. Uh, We're doing the whole letter like this, everyone. Wonderful? Yes! Ooh. Oh, I hope you guys are having a wonderful uh, week. Day. day. Day! You did it! I owe you a dollar. Wait, are there periods? But it took you a while, so you get it in ten years! Are there periods, like quotation thingy? You... There's a period after this. Yeah, like, look at that. Yeah. I think we're like... Okay, well, uh, we're done with that. We're gonna cheat the rest of the time. <coughs> Hello, crew of Blind Weave. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Aaron, follow along. I wanted to uh, make an impact, since this is my first letter to you guys. Uh, but I've been watching since right about the time you hit book two of Avatar The Last Airbender. So I figured the only way is said Atla. I don't know if it messed you up in your reading. Yeah, I was confused. Avatar The Last Airbender, Atla. So I figured the only way to do it is if I made the letter a little more interesting than regular letters. I would try to make this as quick as possible since I'm sure it's hard to read. I have quite a few points to make. All right, that's the first paragraph. Yes. All right, uh, how come you guys have not seen the Attack on Titan OVAs? Um, I don't really know exactly why we didn't... Did you guys watch any? I watched one on my own. Gotcha. Of Levi. I watched the Levi one before I had joined Attack on Titan. Didn't we watch... Um, they're all subbed. Maybe it was F, maybe. But yeah, they are... I think they're all subbed, and we primarily do dub. We did like an OVA for, uh... One Punch Man? And My Hero, I think, at one point, too. And it's just not our speed, I don't think. But Was it F, maybe that was like in a military camp thing? Like an alleyway? Is that F, maybe, mm -hmm. OVA? Maybe. So you know, that was an OVA, but it was dubbed, I think. You guys watched the death But it was an FMAB one, right? Yeah. So I'm thinking of a military one, yeah. but I'm like, eh, I don't know. Yeah. What no, it was the Ishfallen War that we saw in that one. Ishfall. 
right? Is that am I right about that? Man, I hope I'm right. All right, uh, now I know it was uh, in the polls a few months a few months back, but will Seven Deadly Sins ever be back on the polls? Or if anything, you guys should watch it off stream since it's good in my opinion. Um, how long is Seven Deadly Sins? Pretty long. Pretty long. See, for the last poll, I believe we tried to just primarily stick with shorter anime. So the next time we get longer anime, it was up. Maybe we'll get Seven Deadly Sins back there. Now, the real questions. Did Yoda lose the Palpatine, according to you guys? Did Yoda lose the Palpatine? Yeah, I guess so, yeah. I mean, Yoda lived and Palpatine lived. Yep. Yeah. Well, yeah, but he was defeated. And he's like, I'm just going to hide. Yeah, uh, I mean, I can see why some people might say, like, well, he just fell, and there's not really a true defeat and stuff, but if you trust Yoda, he says, Fair, I have. You're too excited. I must go. And I don't know why he's like, hey, that guy lost so bad, he just left space. <laughs> Yeah, anyway. I mean, it, it, he didn't lose, I mean, he didn't lose to death. Yeah. You know, like, there's a difference there. The next one is, did Palpatine let Windu win? I think there's a lot more subtlety and debate to be had with this one. Well, yeah. Like, he let him win. I thought he was like, no, you gotta help. Oh, Don't poor, let him get him, man. Poor old man. Yeah. Uh, you know, like, in terms of my belief of that, I do think that Palpatine uh, knew that this is what he needed to do in order to seduce Anakin. Especially because Mace and Anakin, they do not get along. Um, but there's uh, a lot of debate on the other side that Windu straight up defeated Palpatine in terms of lightsaber combat. Uh, and I am willing to go that way. However, the lightsaber choreography of that fight was so ill done that it's hard to really like study and think of it. It's hard to judge it on the choreography. Yeah. True. And we've also part. seen like. We've seen recently Palpatine, how good of a saber fighter he was. Yeah, so how amazing like, he is. Yeah. Yeah. All right, uh, so uh, I know you guys don't like it when people tell you how to do your jobs, but I might add, uh, be so bold. Maybe a small suggestion. You guys think about implementing some 12-episode animes just because a lot of the shows you guys are watching are super long. So maybe implementing more 12-episode shorter animes will give it a little more variety. I thought since most of your shows would take months to finish, not to mention Naruto, which, by the way, I'm Team Bleach. Uh, yeah, we've already started doing that. So thank you for telling us to do this shit we've already been doing. You're doing nice, baby. Watch the channel. <laughs> uh, so uh, do you guys know there is a DC animated movie universe? Uh, it's all connected and spans over 15 movies. They're amazing. You guys should put them on the polls, or at very least watch them on your own, as they are the ones that help solidify Damian Wayne as my favorite Robin. The movies are Justice League, The Flashpoint Paradox, Justice League War, Son of Batman, uh, Justice League Throne of Atlantis, Batman vs. Robin, Batman Black Bad Blood, uh, Justice League vs. Teen Titans, Justice League Dark, Teen Titans, The Judas Contract, Suicide Squad, Hell to Pay, The Death of Superman, Reign of Superman, Reign of the Supermen, Batman Hush, Wonder Woman Bloodlines, and my personal favorite, and last one, Justice League Dark Apocalypse War, which I've heard is pretty fucking crazy. But yeah, all of these movies uh, are interlaced. We need to throw like Flashpoint Paradox in the next one, and that's something that we can do. Don't we have like yeah. a box of all those, right? Do we get yeah. shipped like a yeah. box of DC animated movies? Well, Justice League Dark Apocalypse War, I think, just came out. Because a lot of people were saying, like, you gotta fucking do that. I don't care if you haven't seen the other movies. It's so amazing. It's better than Endgame. I was like, oh, Jesus. I will say, though, that DC has Marvel smoked for animated shows. Um, I mean, I know that, like, the Batman animated series kind of flowed into, like, Superman series, and they kind of went with that. Just but League. This seems to be a new uh, continuity that you could watch these movies. So. New? Some of them are old, right? Well, I mean, uh, these stories are interconnected. I don't know if they necessarily interconnect. The animated series, Batman? Well, I've they're seen, newer than, like, yeah. Mask of the Phantasm. Yeah, oh, fuck, it's so I've good. seen Flashpoint, and I've seen, uh, I think I've seen the Judas, like, was it Contract or something? Judas like Contract. Mm. Judas Teen Contract. Titans? Yeah. Yeah, I've seen, I've seen those, but unrelated to the other ones. Yeah. Well, uh, we'll uh, just for you, we're going to throw Justice League Flashpoint Paradox. That doesn't help us at all. No, I really want to watch that. You just start, Sounds interesting. the second one. Let's do the first one, then the second one, then the third one, then the fourth one, then the fifth one. Just as Legal Flashpoint Paradox is the first one, it says. Oh, uh, they just said one movie, and then you said Flashpoint Paradox is no, the second Flashpoint one. No, Flashpoint was the first one. Justice League, yeah. colon, the Flashpoint Paradox. They start with the Flashpoint Paradox? Yeah. Oh, I've already seen that. I mean, to be fair, the way you look at it, it could be a good beginning, because it's like a reset. Mm -hmm. It's a good place. Yeah. Uh, have you guys played Days Gone? I feel like Eric and Aaron will enjoy it. Uh, it has a lot of zombies. Uh... It's a game that starts the fantastic Mr. Whitwer. If you guys have a slot, you should play it on stream or else play it on your own and maybe talk about it on a podcast or something. Calvin played this game, right? He played some of it and then switched over. Um, I was thinking about playing it and I did. Yeah. 
I think I was looking to see because I can't remember if he like if, if we bought it on disc or if he downloaded it, and I couldn't find the disc, and I just never did it. Yeah. Well, I mean, I've already played a fantastic game with Mr. Whitwer and won like half a game because Force Unleashed Two was incredibly short. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that'd be interesting. I'd do that. Uh, how about Darksiders? The games play like the original God of Wars, and they're amazing. They are about the four horsemen of the apocalypse, and they are great games. They're just fun to play and are somewhat pretty good story. I played the first one. Back okay. I wouldn't call them great games. They are above average. Rick has his opinions. How <laughs> how above average is Deadly Premonition? Uh phew. It okay. doesn't even rank That's on all scale. You need. Yeah. It's got its own scale. Uh, I don't understand. My last that point. Game is uh, like, dude, you play Deadly Premonition, you love it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you might like our uh, ciders, Eric. It's very Zelda. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, my last point. Bit of a spoiler, not for you guys, but anyone who is not caught up with My Hero. So if you're not caught up to the My Hero anime, skip the next however long. Uh, <laughs> I don't know, Rob can put something up. Numbers. In the episode where Gentle is fighting Deku, Eric, you said that he should be number one and not Endeavor. But uh, what about now that you've seen Endeavor's episode, huh? Do you feel the same way? Endeavor's episode is pretty fucking fantastic, I gotta say. The dude has a lot of work before he can even begin to climb the mountain that was All Might. But He's building his own mountain. He doesn't need to climb that mountain. Yeah, it's a fiery I mean, mountain. We're wasting a mountain. It's a great mountain up yeah, there. It's a fiery mountain. It's going to erupt. Destroy Pompeii. I mean, yeah, you have a great mountain over here, but everybody's always going to be like, yeah, what about the mountain that's higher? Yeah, but this one's on fire. On fire. <laughs> uh, anyway, I hope you guys were able to read and read it all, and I hope to send you something else soon. Maybe an actual something, like a pop. Uh, yours truly, Rusty, P.S. to Calvin, hashtag Team Iron Man. He's not here. He is not. So <laughs> thank you, Rusty. That's we're too damn bad. We're here now. Very creative. Yeah, yeah. I Air love push. it. Uh, and I'm sorry that we cheated. I got through All the first of us sentence. Together thank God he gave us the other one. I got hello. I got through the first sentence. That was good. There's only like four ways you can start a letter. Hellos. <laughs> I know. I told you like ah, it says hello. Look, there's five <laughs> letters here. Thank you, Rusty. Now I'm reading Arabesque. I'm gonna get some confused again when I go back to read my book. You are. We just had a letter. Michael Rutherford. Are buttons on the side? Looks like um, the Hunter exam. It's a uh, check and a It's a checks X. and balance system. X marks the spot. Show that box no mercy. Um, I don't know. What we got? Eric! Uh. Mm. Another anime movie? Oh, okay, that, from with the bubble wrap here, it was hard to see, I, I could see, make out this, but I wasn't sure what was going on here. Okay. <laughs> and I was confused. Ma, ma, makia? Makia. When the promised da, 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 da. flower blooms. Oh. Okay. When the promised flower blooms. Redhead? Nah, I think it's the way the sun's in the line. Aaron dismisses people, he doesn't immediately <sighs> attract it to. Dear Blind Wave crew. Yes, hi. I present to you Makia yeah. when the promised flower blooms. Mm. Pronounced Ma Ma Ki Ki. Ah. Got it right. An extremely tear jerking anime movie that I discovered last summer. While I can't stress enough how much of an emotional wreck oh. <laughs> this movie has made me and how much I love it dearly, I also don't want to risk overhyping it. Don't do that. If that's even the right word for it. It is. I hate overhyping. I hate having like expectations. I don't want expectations. Hey, Tim says it's gonna be good. Yeah, fuck. It was okay. <laughs> and having it be less impactful for you guys. Mm -hmm. And that's saying something since I don't usually get emotional with movies. Even emotional movies like Your Name, yes, Your Name, uh, failed to get me. Ooh. But uh, Makia succeeded. Needless to say, Makia is now my favorite anime of all time. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this movie just as much as I did. I would sincerely love to see a reaction of it, if possible. Prepare some tissues. Well, that's the secret. Prepare your tissues. That's my secret. They're always prepared. Sounds great. Give me a tissue. That looks white. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much, Michael. Thank you.
We will keep that in mind. Michael. Man, dude, your hair's getting long in the back. Yeah, I know. And it just curls so it stays up. It's like a perm. <laughs> Do this. Do that. Yeah, you, you could totally rock a mullet in the next haircut. I don't want a mullet. How awesome would that be? A mullet? Yeah, it would look great. Like, just shorten the sides and then having the long go in the back. Oh, I think it'll look good. I don't know. I think you look like like a shitty Ragnar. He can't be Ragnar. A shitty Ragnar? Yeah. He has a braid. We, How about like a shitty Bradley Cooper? To look like both of my dads. What? What oh, we got, Rick? We have a poster. Poster? We got a poster? A wall scroll, I guess. Oh. Oh, it's on your back. Be a hot chick. Yeah! Ruby! Ruby Rose. Very cool. That's really nice. That Rick, apparently, sick. you and Ruby's... Uh, no, that's not right. Uh, someone, you said something about your birthday, and someone said, that's this person's birthday. But I thought it was Rick's birthday. It's not. Ruby Rose is born on Halloween. Like Jancy. Nice. Right around. You got there. Yep. This is awesome. I, I love, love it. it. Fantastic. Must go somewhere. We'll put it in place of Aaron's other one. No, I like that one too. <laughs> you guys made me take it down after the Wave Cave tours. They're children. They were children. Were there any children? In your group? <laughs> uh, all right. It's a tasteful one. It didn't show anything. Tasteful. It was tasteful. Okay. Tasteful. Look, it was uh, art. It was tasteful art. All right. Yeah. You licking your lips doesn't make something tasteful. <laughs> <laughs> this is from Mr. No Name. And we got. It has been. Mutin Roshi! Mutin? Yeah, Master. Kind of they, they call him Mutin Roshi. Why is this right? Dragon Ball green? Uh, it's a Kame Kamehameha, you fucking idiot. But also, green. he's buff as shit, you see that? Yeah, he is. Mm. He does that. Mm. What do you mean, mmm? Mm. What are you talking about? Mm. <laughs> look at him. Look how buff as shit he is. Hey, that one looks like a command, man. Look, it's all white and stuff. Yeah. That one looks good. Why does it look like that? This is awesome. Maybe they misprinted again. I love this. This is awesome. It's fantastic. Oh. I love that scene. Which scene? Where he's teaching them. Uh, on, man. There's a Sounds Master great. Roshi What's scene in? in Dragon Ball Super that's the best Master Roshi shit that's ever happened. Ever. Ever. Oh, my God. Oh, I'm so happy. Thank you very much. Thank Mr. you, No Man. Name. This is fantastic. We love the mutant Roshi. Mutin. That's what I said. I figured you'd be all over that because I was in Dragon Ball Evolution. Mutin Roshi, the Invincible! <laughs> my dad, my grandpa is dead. <laughs> Remember that scene? Dragon! No, not that scene! Thank you, Mr. No Name. Thank you. Do you. Oh, shit. I thought it would be all well. Eric and Aaron. Oh. I just want to take time to write to the both of you and say it is an honor to meet you. I've been of your channel for some time mm -hmm. and that you guys make great content. I noticed you guys watched Crisis on Infinite Earths, which was exciting for me to watch as well. Mm -hmm. I got really confused because when it said excited to meet you and then Rick got up, I'm like, is he going to get somebody? <laughs> What's going on? He wasn't addressed in the letter. <laughs> uh... I noticed you guys watched Crisis on Infinite Earths, which was exciting for me to watch as well. The part that I most liked mm -hmm. your reactions on was seeing Brandon Ruth's Superman. I really love the character because he has always been my favorite since the Reeve era. Mm -hmm. uh, seeing your reactions felt more like I was happier because it seemed like we all missed that Superman for a long time. You can search up on Google for what fans really want to watch as a Superman series. Mm -hmm. The results led to a huge win for Brandon Ruth's Superman, yep. and my oh my, that even surprised me. I hear rumors that he might have a shot at getting his own miniseries on HBO Max. That would be fucking fantastic. The uh, His suit was, might have been some, like, my favorite Superman suit I've seen in a long time. The Especially King, since he's not yeah. uh, on Legends anymore. You know? But the Kingdom Come outfit was just amazing. So to get to the point, I was hoping I could discuss with you guys about this mm -hmm. and how you would feel for it happening. Okay, HBO Max, gotcha. Yeah, I, I think it would be a great... Like, I would watch it. Yeah. I mean, I definitely we're doing more it. DC stuff over on HBO Max anyway, yeah. so why not? I mean, now... If it's taking place after what happened there, like, everyone died in his universe, i.e., like, 
the Joker killed everyone, you know? So I want they'd have to go a little uh, out there to be able to like capture a good Superman mythos, but. Yeah. Um, I will leave my email below if you have time to spare, but if not, I understand. Well, I hope my handwriting wasn't too bad to read through, and I will be waiting to hear back from you guys mm. soon. Sincerely, Jordan North. Oh, thank you, Jordan. Thank you, Jordan. Yeah. Thank you. Check out our Discord. Absolutely. Check out our Discord. There's a DC section that you can probably talk about that kind of stuff in there. Uh, and I go in there every once in a while. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. I also get DMs there from fans and stuff oh, too, yeah. and we talk to people there. So that's a good place to go. Thank you, Jordan. Thank you. My name. Your name. Good movie. Oh. My name. My name. Which surprisingly well. The box is pink. Immediately makes me. Ooh, ooh. And it is! What is it? Candyland. Candyland. Vintage Bookshelf Edition. Oh, wow. Oh. It's a new one. A so there's another edition. vintage edition that we have upstairs. Yeah. That I used for the for one of my It looks like a book. Read it carefully. Wow. That's a pretty cool concept. Yeah, Avalon Hill had a series of bookshelf yeah. titles back in the day, back in the 70s. So this is a remake of a vintage style? This linen book edition is a sweet way for parents and children to enjoy Candyland, a child's first game. The adventure takes you on a wonderful journey traveling past the crooked old peanut brittle house and lollipop woods until you eventually reach home sweet home. As this magical experience unfolds, your child will learn colors without reading or counting. Yep. The collectible linen book edition that features the charming graphics of the 1978 edition as well as the iconic Ginger Red Men. It's a timeless edition to be enjoyed by children of all ages with sweet tooth for fun. Alright, this is what we gotta do. We need to find out if there is any kind of official largest Candyland collection in the world. We need to get an inventory of what's on that list and then together we need to beat it. Together. That will be our goal for Mailbag for the so next that, 10 years. Like what, what, what are we trying to do? We're trying to see. All right, guys, here's to, like, everything you need to beat the current record, ho record holder. Are we trying to get the idea that Rick is the, the largest, largest Candyland, Candyland collector of all world. time? So they have a whole series of these. They have Clue, Mystery yeah. Date, Boggle, uh, Categories, this isn't help. Phrase, and Shoots and Letters. Could you imagine if like you type in like Rick Martin, and the first yeah. thing you find is like largest Candyland owner in the world. Yeah, it's just his unhappy like, face. Yeah, I, I know it costs a lot of money to get into Guinness Book of World Records. Does it? Yeah, you had to like fly the person out and keep. You know, it costs like forty thousand dollars. So the that's guy how they make to, a lot of money. That guy had to pay forty thousand dollars to show his nails and how long they were. Pretty much to get in the world record. That's how they make a lot of their money. Uh, but I don't know exactly how much it is. Maybe it's way less, depending on like what the thing is. But um, definitely, we need to get Rick in there, and I want to be in control of the photograph. I do appreciate the magnets. Keeping this close. See, he's it's, it's already started. started. That way, it's harder to open. So yep. If you want to play a game with kids with colors, play My First Castle Panic. And that sounds stressful. It's like a tower defense. It sounds more stressful. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Seems like you're trying to expose children to war. Well, it's against orcs. Instead of candy, Rick. Yes. I was exposed to candy at an early age. Look at me. Thank you. Uh, did it even say? I don't think it did. Probably not. Your anonymous candy Latin benefactor. Probably them. Probably. I got nothing. Put, put your book back in the book holder. All right, this is Mr. No Name again. We got... Mutant! Final Flash Vegeta! Ooh. <laughs> what? I don't know why I thought you were saying something else. Final Flash Vagina? Yeah. <laughs> How about a Final Flash, Aaron? I don't know. It's just a Final Flash. Where would he have learned the technique? No, it is. It's like someone in a trench coat. It's the Final Flash Vagina. Ah. This is very cool. I very much like it. It's a 2019 Fall uh, Convention Limited Edition. Man, all those Limited Edition 2020 ones. I can get those at conventions. Thank you very much. Very much appreciate it. Mr. No Name! I wonder what they did with all those. You know, like limited edition pop for yeah. Star Wars Celebration. Nice. And it's like, well, here you guys go. Stop <laughs> zero and put a lot on it, I guess. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. All right. Well, awesome. Thank you. Thank you so much. You know, that could also be like Barry Allen's like final time getting that sex. And he's just writing porn parodies in his head. 
Every day. Of a show he's never seen. Yeah. I might be good at that, actually, man. I should <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mr. No Name. Blind Wave from a from Australia. From a from a from a Australia. Blind Wave from a from Australia. From a from a from, from a, Australia. It's like he hesitates, like from Blind a, Wave from a from Australia. <laughs> Wait, are we from Australia or is this from Australia? That's from Australia. Or is it supposed to be for Blind Wave from Australia? I don't know. Evie's very confused about the fact that Australia and Austria are two different places. No. Try to work on Arnold that. Arnold is from Austria. Hugh Jackman yeah. is from Australia. <laughs> Listen to the accents, they're different. I didn't know that Kano from the Mortal Kombat movie was supposed to be Australian. Yeah. Yeah. Really? Yeah. 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 I didn't yeah. realize that was the uh, accent. But I didn't, also didn't realize that he, that fundamentally changed the character in all the games going forward because he was not that, and then the movie happened, and he's been like that ever since. True. Ooh, Star Wars, Rebels, <gasps> the art book. Art of the animated series. The best thing about this is that I have this poster. Yeah. And I've been getting all the voice actors to like sign Isn't, it. Is that the been, Aren't I, You Glad, Glad You Came poster? And. I think it is. It may be. It may be. That's the Aren't You Glad You Came poster. People might not know what that Aren't is. Aren't you glad you came? Did you tell them what that is? <laughs> no, it's just... <laughs> Let's see, what well, it was at Star Wars Celebration. Yep. We were going into, um, I, it might have been Rebels. I think it was the Rebels panel. It might have been the Rebels panel. We and what? Who was hesitating going? Shane was, was hesitating going. Shane's like, ah, oh, God, I want to do this, though. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'm just going to chill and walk yeah. around or do something else, whatever. And he's like, oh, no, why don't you come in? Whatever. Yeah. And then we're sitting in there, and uh, one of the other wave riders was with us yep. too, and he was coming out. Uh, there. No, no, no. I mean, we're not. But uh, he was—he like convinced Shane to go in. Yeah. Much. So we sat with him. It was, it was Eric, me, Shane, and I think Zayman. Yeah. Who has uh, sent us like letters, and we've seen a—you sent a picture of yeah. him. Yeah. We've hung out with him a, a few different ones yep. now. So, but uh, no, during it, like Shane just there, and then they say everyone in here today will be getting this poster. And it was that image. And then Zayman and he, got, he loved, he, he went fucking crazy. He's like, whoa, whoa, look at this. And he slaps Shane and goes, aren't you glad you came? And Shane just sitting there like. It was one of the best <laughs> moments of my life. It was so funny. I loved and it. Shane was like not excited at all about it. But Zayman loves all the little extra oh, yeah. and everything too. Free poster? Fuck yeah. Yeah, it was so funny. Oh, so What great. made it funny was, was Zayman's excitement versus Shane's unexcitement. <laughs> the duality of that moment was one of the best moments of my life. It was like me and Shane watching the holiday special. Yeah, it was. <laughs> kind of, yeah. Like, you're just like, ah! He's like... <laughs> like, what's going on? <laughs> I forgot to open this thing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I've been wanting this. I mean, want it safe. There's nothing spoilery. Probably inside, there's probably things spoilery. Oh, yeah. Man, these are cool. The environments? Wow, well, I'm super see. glad we got the hair design. That's a spoiler there. Because, man, some of those out, outtakes. What the hell? Nope, not doing that. What the hell? Well, very cool. I've wanted this for a while, and we're really happy. A spark of Rebellion ignites. Yes! It's cool to see. Yeah, I like this. Dude, this is, look, look, at, look at this. Yeah, that's look, the Ralph McQuarrie art. Yeah. Yeah. It's so cool. It's one of the characters, Rick. Yeah. His design is based off Ralph McQuarrie's first design for Chewie. Okay. And they make a new alien, like, you know, a lot of the show is designed and made to look like a Ralph McQuarrie painting. Ooh. So, it's really, really, really look cool. Look Very cool. This is very cool. Thank you, whoever sent it from, 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 from Australia. Yeah, thank you. Thank we you. We appreciate it. From a, from Australia. From I thought you just did that. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you just hesitated. No. Awesome. But no, it looks really good. I'm excited to go through more of it. It doesn't look like too many spoilers, but there are some, so Rick will have to make sure we Not gouge any. his eyes out before he we'll looks look at it. Look at it five years from now. Yeah. I've seen one for sure that's been in here. Yeah. I, I'm pretty out sure. of context. And that's spoilers. also season one. They're, yeah. they're, they're, they're separated into various yep. seasons. Love it. Thank you. Thank you very much. Aren't you glad you watched? Aren't you glad you came? Made from somewhere. Nate. Nate from somewhere. Ah, it's a big one. A big one. Oh, 
see if you guys recognize this. Okay. There's probably scissors on the front, though. Probably with this part. I'll do this. Kabam! Uh, it is Exodia, the Forbidden One. Oh, it says it right there. Yeah, where you're not but covering. Yeah, front. It's uh, Spawn! Yu-Gi-Oh. Oh, fuck. Nope. Recognize, I had to watch it first. Why would no, I know? no. Why uh, would I know that? I mean, it's a pretty famous thing. It's also a meme. But mm. so, Exodia. How would I know that? <laughs> so, he is broken up on a lot of different cards that you like all put together and you make him. In the game? Yeah. So, you're like. Interesting. Yep. I was going to say Power Rangers. I'm pretty sure. Because I was like, I don't know. That's, that's pretty cool. I'm that's looking Know Your Meme, Exodia, bitch, The Eric. Forbidden. Well, we just need like a Know Your Meme station that you can have over there every time we reference something. You're looking it up. Ah. It's like, like the research team on like a baseball broadcast. How do you spell Exodia? Yeah. It's right there! E-X-O-D-I-A. So X-O-D-I-A. Did you put D-E-A? No. Like the heels I did it like Exodus a little bit. I thought that was kind of like the... I mean, it's not quite as meme as I play my trap card. Oh, what's on here? Or I activate my trap card, but... It's the name of a fictional creature composed of uh, five cards. Oh, it's one of five cards. Sweet. That's what he said. To people do it all, that's amazing. I didn't know that at all. Rick said it. He's like all of my students ever. <laughs> <laughs> I was doing know your memes. I wasn't going to have Rick know my meme. Why is this a meme, though? Oh, my God. I think he found out why. Look at all the memes. Look at the... Look at that one. <laughs> the traitor. So that's the meme. Yeah, that put that's, other people so the in. meme is the format in which yeah. the cards come. Okay. Why is wow. Shall we, why? No. Uh, fuck. <laughs> Go, Reggie. What? <laughs> so why do they do that? I don't know. What's the original look like? The original looks, I mean, it looks like, like this guy, but just broken up into five cards. Yeah, but is like the head really big, or is it actually? It looks like that. Shot? It's so that, really cool. that makes a good that picture. That yeah. one's good. Yeah, yeah it, it's a really cool. The one, thing. what was the one of uh, Kim Jong Un? The yeah, North Korea. Yeah, like that one looked crazy, <laughs> ridiculous. <laughs> Very cool. Thank well, you. Thank you, Nate, from somewhere. Oh. Fantastic. I'm glad we got to learn about memes. Yep. I'm not. We have the pop in our collection. That should be a new series in Blind Wave. Like Aaron learns memes. We, we we would have like an endless da, supply. Da, 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 da. Aaron knows memes. That should be the theme song. Aaron knows memes. <laughs> this is actually not a terrible idea. Yeah, it's like, actually not too right? bad. We could go real deep. It's like when we discovered Calvin for the first time. <laughs> what the fuck? So, this is Super Hercule, Mr. Satan. Uh -huh. Wait. But he's a Super Saiyan. What? This is a thing? Why do they have Mr. Say Satan as a su specialty series? Blows in the dark. Did he go take Super Saiyan? No, Super he's Super a Saiyan? human. He's a normal, weak human. Weak, I mean, he's one of the best fighters in the world, but compared to the Z fighters, Dude, nothing. what would happen if Krillin was Super Saiyan? He couldn't. Well, neither can Mr. Hercule, but if Krillin was Super Saiyan, what would happen to his head? Why wouldn't you choose Nappa, Aaron? He's actually a Saiyan. It's true. Yeah, but what I'm saying... He's also bald. It's true. Krillin's eyes would change color. That's what would happen. And he'd have the golden aura indicative of a Super Saiyan. Yeah, but now it's a ghost. He has a goatee. His goatee would turn yellow. Would it? Why? <laughs> <laughs> However, I love the now Hulk Hogan mustache he has. I know. That's, that's, that's amazing. <laughs> I can see you from here. Okay. Well, uh, thank you so much. Um, but why? Did he have a mustache before? Yeah, he's always had a mustache. It's just now it's blonde. Yeah. I can't remember like a thing where he did that. Am I wrong? So you know, Hulk Hogan went Super Saiyan when he helped him. See, like in the later, like whenever like Dragon Ball Z games, like they just were running out of fucking ideas and they started like, what if Raditz became a Zuru, you know? And you see how like the great ape with the long hair and then they would do like, what if Nappa was a Super Saiyan and they would like make those designs. But did they go that far to make it Hercule? Can't imagine they do that. All right, so this one is from Benjamin. Bang. Benjamin. Mm. Hey guys. Hello. With all the postcards sent. I can't remember if you had this one before. Oh. Let me see. What's the name? Frogmore oh. stew. No. Stew. For six persons in a large pot, boil for seven minutes. One pound link pork sausage. Mm -hmm. Three pounds new potatoes covered with water and beer. Sounds and great. And one large onion and bell pepper. Three celery ribs, all chopped. 
two tablespoons uh, seafood seasoning, salt, pepper, boil 10 minutes, add 36 inch Polish, Polish sausage cut into one and a half link, inch links. Boil 10 minutes. Add six fresh crabs, six ears of corn on the cob. Boil for 10 minutes. Add three pounds fresh shrimp, raw, unpeeled. Boil three minutes. Remove from heat and let stand for five minutes. Drain and serve with additional seafood seasoning. Good God, it sounds like treasure of the sea. Is that what's in there? Yes. <laughs> That's amazing. I don't use a lot of alcohol with my cooking, though. It looked like Aaron would enjoy trying out in the kitchen sometime. Yeah. That, there's a lot in that There's a lot in that stuff. Ears of corn? Ears. ears. Like, just throw an ear of corn in there. How big of a pot do you need? I don't know. I need a big one. I know you say the Elliots are picky eaters, yes. But hey, you never know. Maybe give it a try sometime. Who doesn't love a good stew? Mm-hmm. Yeah, my, my family is, they, they're they very specific. I'll eat it. I'll just eat it. Evie no, I'm like, what do you want? I don't care. Whatever you guys will eat, I will order or eat whatever. It doesn't matter. Just, if you get pizza, don't put olives on it. Last night, I made lasagna, uh, garlic bread, and kashis. Fantastic dinner. Those good. sounds like things you all took out of the refrigerator and heated up. Uh, yeah, but Except. in the oven. <laughs> Not the microwave. Except for made the cottage cheese. <laughs> <laughs> I stirred it. <laughs> the way you ended that, I'm like, well, the lasagna was probably this. And you're like, garlic bread. I was like, well, you probably bought that and heated it up. And then the last part you had was cottage cheese. I'm like, he just bought that at the store. He didn't make cottage cheese. I made meatballs with the brown gravy, uh, green beans, and garlic mashed potatoes. Mm. I love smoking things now. It's been, yeah, it's been you fun. Smoke that still. I don't think that's how that works. You could smoke the sausages. You could. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um, also, just thought you all could use a little extra plus ultra. <gasps> plus ultra. Energy. Go beyond. What? To get you through the day. We all have those days. I had a Goku spirit bomb me the day. It was good. We all have those days where we all could use Calvin's. a boost. Yes. At the very least, these cans are cool to have. They are They're amazing cool. to have. Benjamin Bangarang, you can be a hero. I wonder if they're any good. I don't know. I, I don't do a lot of energy drinks, and I don't like the flavor. I just, I like the taste of the white monster. I also don't like a ton of the flavors of the other colored monsters. Yeah. Just this one here, I think it's like it's... It's sweet enough, but it doesn't have like a lot of bittery or anything. It's just smooth. There was a uh, thread on Discord last night. And people saying like, I, I noticed that Aaron doesn't drink Monster anymore. That's probably why his cough is gone. I drink it. He drinks it every day. Every day. Yeah. I, I usually have two cans a day. That's yeah. usually where I, where I try to stop because I want to have a ton of caffeine. Yes. I was talking to it to to, to the Baba this morning. Uh-huh. She was saying we were just. I forget who brought it up. One of us said something like that. I was like, like you drink it all the time. I was like, I know. Yeah. And then I le- I left. I'm like, bye. And I came back in. I was like, oh shoot, I forgot to take my pills. I was like, wait a minute, why is an allergy pill? Mm-hmm. Like, maybe that's why I'm not coughing much. I don't know. You think you had allergies for 20 years and never knew? I have no idea. I always was told I didn't have any allergies. But then all my kids have allergies. Well, I have no idea. you yeah. can grow into and out of allergies you can. as well. Mm. I have no idea. But I also don't notice I'm not coughing because I don't notice that I am coughing. You're not coughing. You're not coughing. Like, I legitimately, and this is without a joke, would know when you get here because I would hear you cough at once. From your truck to like seeing you, I could hear it. Yeah. I could hear it. <laughs> but, but not anymore. Now it sneaks up on me all the time. Yeah. So fuck it. I'm drinking Monster all the time. All right. I call Calvin's and Aaron's. Then. <laughs> Rick. Ah! <laughs> 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 I thought you were I wonder what that looks like on camera. I wasn't looking at the camera. It, it looked good to me. I thought it might look like it's like. Ah! It's hard to tell distance a little bit, you know? Oh, God. Huh? Didn't we get one of these? It's yeah. something like it. Huh? It's a clown mask. No, oh, we did get a mask last time. Ooh, that's it's Two Faces. Though. What the hell? Whoa. That's like, like the Joker and Two Face put together. That's a weird one. It is getting close to Halloween. Hmm. It's true. What's Which, gonna, what's gonna, gonna a book. Stay away from me, everybody. Don't do Halloween. What's gonna be the stipulation of Halloween? Don't go. But it's also the holiday where you all wear masks. Yes, but also where you're, like, just going to people's houses and spreading shit. Candy, <laughs> Corona, and it's what happens. Okay. Candy, it's not Corona. Worth it. Trust me, candy's not worth it. A certain magical index. Oh. It's an actual novel. Oh, a novel? Cool. Yeah, not a manga. Is it in Arabesh? No. Then toss it. Uh, you can't even read Arabesh. I said hello. Yeah. 
to I can do math in Arabic. Talma. Talma. Is it all the same? Kamajau has the worst luck imaginable. She, sure, he's a citizen of Academy City, a scientific marvel of the modern world where superhuman abilities are artificially cultivated mm. and commonplace. But when it comes to paranormal talent, Kamijo has been classified as level zero, a loser, basically. Uh, oh, level zero. He has one trick up his sleeve, literally. But that's more trouble than it's worth. Oh. When he encounters a delusional young girl convinced that she's a nun and raving about being chased by evil sorcerers, he's eager to send her on her way and get back to his failing studies. Fate, it would seem, though, has other ideas as he suddenly finds himself caught up in a supernatural intrigue with a girl named Index at the center. Science and magic collide in the first volume of one of the most popular light novel series ever penned. Oh. How do you become convinced that you're a nun? Isn't there, like, a school for that? There's the convent. I watched Sister Act, and I'm pretty sure they had, like, a school. That's pretty much what they do whenever you become a nun. They just show you Sister Act. Is that what it is? Yeah. Then, like, you, do you then you maybe that, the Catechism of the Catholic a Church. Nor, none? Yeah. Maybe you study a little bit of the Catechism of the Catholic Church and maybe have to be I subservient played catechism. to a father. Deathwing was a bitch. Mm. A clown poem. What? Upon a white and starched ruff, a neck that's equally as stiff, rest a hairless, cold-creamed face like hypocephalic asparagus. From what? Raccoon Shampoo. Thank you, Raccoon Shampoo. That was beautiful. <laughs> Asparagus? That one caught me off guard. Sorry beautiful. about the random clowns. Blame sleep deprived raccoon for that. Here's Index from <laughs> Raccoon Shampoo. Thank, Thank you, you, Raccoon. <laughs> that was funny. All this right. is from the USA Goddamn Store. Huh? USA Gundam Store. Oh. You tricked me for a second, so I looked at it and I was like, oh, fuck yeah, that's what it says. <laughs> I read too fast. The Gundam Store. Okay. Whoa! We got... We got Gundam. What is new, no longer can, by the way, but... An SDBH Super Saiyan Level 4 Goku figure. Wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. What? So, okay, I've seen a figure of this, yeah. right, where he, like, he's all aped out uh -huh. and furry everywhere. So is this the next step up? Okay, so, because it, no. Because it looks like his furry legs turn into a cloak. No, he's just also wearing, a, like, a cloak around his waist. Okay, so, yeah. like, underneath he's still that furry. Yeah. Okay, I like... You it's kind of taking the imagery it. of a Super Saiyan and the great ape f transformation and, like, combining the two. This is all Actually, fishing, a right? very cool design, but this is all from Welcome to the Grand Tour, uh, Dragon Ball GT, which was not an Akira Toriyama so uh, it's all series. So when so they created Dragon Ball Super, that was all thrown out. So there's no more, like, half man, half monkey kind of, like, transformation Not any more than normal. There's just a normal, like, yeah. full-out monkey transformation now, right? Well, I mean, if you have a tail and look at the moon, you can do that. Yeah, yeah. full-out monkey transformation. That's always been the case, even in this yeah. one. Yeah. Yeah, that's the that's the only monkey transformation you got now. Everything else is the Saiyans with weird colored hair. They're gods. With weird colored hair. Ooh, man, these are part. All right, I'm gonna put this together real quick. We got the base. One of the most important parts of Super Saiyan 4 is that they regrow their tail. What? Even if they're cut off? Yep. Does that mean they can turn into like a monkey to look at the moon again? They turn into this. Which I always thought was a really cool design. I love the red uh, outline they have around their eyes and abs. Ow. Man, this is tough. <laughs> Don't break his hair. Oh, you're not breaking that hair. The hair will break you. Huh? Imagine it goes his butt. Probably. Or very I mean, near it. He also, I'm pretty sure, threw away something clear. It wasn't clear! <laughs> Does that go in his butt, and then the tail goes inside of that, which is in his butt? I think so. Interesting. There's two holes in his butt. I am such trouble. <laughs> I mean, you can only go in that way. Calvin was here, he'd get his knife and shave it. He absolutely would. But I guess this is what you're supposed to do. <laughs> I, know, I can get that. So. Good job. Yay. You didn't even put the tail on. It won't go in. What do you mean it won't go in? You do it. 
Okay, you'll get in 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, I did it backwards. <laughs> it goes like... Does this stand the reason that the big side would be Bob's butt? That, look, good a job, tail. Man. Ta da! Where's that dollar? You did it like eight seconds. Good job. I'm so good at sticking things in butts. <laughs> Two holes. That was tough, isn't it? Try to get a little more without. This one, it's it like. It feels like it should fit really easily. This one's a lot looser. Yeah! He's so twisty. Yeah, he it's is. It's like he's going for a pass. Oh. He's dodging around a blast and about ready to smash. Oh. It's pretty Very sweet. Cool. Alright, Harry. Love it. Here you go. Uh, Sean Shamel. How do you say his name? Voice actor of Goku. Uh, Goku, like, he, he usually his Goku voice is a lot higher, so he can, like, make his mouth real small when he talks. Hey, guys, I'm Goku. Haha, uh -huh. you know? Uh, I don't know why they didn't make a mouse thing at the end. But whenever he's Super Saiyan 4, he's a lot lower down here. So when he did his Super Saiyan 4 final Kamehameha scream, he passed out on the, in the booth and almost, like, like, hit his head and almost died. <laughs> it's very cool. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you so much. What's that? Hot Topic. Naruto Spoilers, episode 328. Well. It's going to be a while until uh, we get there. Put that one on the shelf. Wait. Are there 320 episodes of Naruto? I don't think there are. That's ridiculous. And maybe they mean Shibuden. They must. Here is Princess Peach. <gasps> uh, what the fuck? Not it's Princess Zelda, you dick. <laughs> Jesus. You son of a bitch. <laughs> Here is a D&D &D cherry potion candy container. Ooh, here Ooh. is Orochi Maru. Orochi Maru. Nice. But he looks a little... We've met him, but he hasn't had a sword. And there's also stuff blocked out. Oh, nice. Thank you for the effort of blocking things out. Yeah. That's amazing. So that's pretty cool. Sweet. Orochi Maru. Oh, damn. Here's Red Sanja, which looks hot. What, how did you pronounce that? Sanja? No. S-O-N-J-A. Mm -mm. well, Rick, you say it. Red Sanja and Princess Peach. Looks like a Sanja to me. Red Sonia. That's not Sonia. Sonia be... Blade. Yeah, I've seen Sonia. I got a Y. Benjamin Bangerang. Benjamin. This postcard came with the pops at one of the local comic shops. Cool. If you ever make any merch or designs with the editors included, now you have one for Rob. Captain Canuck. Captain Canuck. <laughs> <laughs> Rob's from Canada. By the way, congrats to Rick and Maggie on your 10 year wedding anniversary. Whee! That's two times the length of Blind Wave. From the time spent at WaveCon and watching reactions, much like Aaron and Melanie, you can see how you both rubbed off and compliment each other well. I had grandparents that were married for over 75 years they said the biggest thing is you have to be willing to communicate and respect each other, even if you disagree, but still show you value each other. I don't know what has worked for you, but I can only hope to one day be as fortunate. From Benjamin Bangerang and Captain Canuck. Thank you. Awesome. So thank you for the red Sanja. What's this from? Uh, so she is a fictional character that's like around Conan the Barbarian so sometimes. Uh, she has her own movie as well. Does she? And Arnold's in it as Conan. Look at her. She's pretty cool. Nice. Kind of reminds me of, uh, what was that? Witchblade? Remember that comic? Uh -huh. Is that right thing? Witchblade in the Darkness? I see. Very cool. Thank you. She has a very big, like, axe. Hmm. I haven't read any of her stories. Neat. So, yeah, I'm gonna guess Naruto Shippuden 3 something, but that's gonna be even longer. If you get there enough. So that will be. No guarantees for Shippuden. That'll be there for years. And you literally will open that in years. We just set it up there. <laughs> like, just, just piss off people more. <laughs> that's so mean. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we can do it like, ah! Ah! We run back here. Yeah! It's gonna be full of like five layers of dust and human skin. <laughs> I love that it's wrapped and it has like, yeah. when it's okay, which is really and cool. And it shows up pretty well back there. Too. I appreciate that. Hey, Aaron. Yeah. Oh, me. 
Here is some toys for your new pussy. Oh. For those who didn't know, Aaron got a little kitty. I saw a picture I of the kitty on Facebook. I didn't get shit. From Alexander Perez. Oh, Alex P. What we got? I allowed it in my house. It keeps fucking sleeping. I'll be sitting at my computer desk playing World of Warcraft or yeah. something. Keyboard. And there is my desk. It's like the same desk I have up there, right? So it has like the same like uh, drawers. Yeah. I have underneath this drawer is a box that has paper in it. Yeah. Like for printer paper. Oh yeah. He keeps on climbing into that and just sleeping under my desk, curled up Cats in that paper. Love boxes. All the damn time. Jesus. You should open up that drawer and put like a towel in there. Wow. Nice. So much good stuff for Kitty. Oh, it's got like one of those rings that the lines jump through. Yeah. No, I think it's a tunnel. Oh, even better. That tunnel. A two-way cat tunnel. Cat Charmer wand teaser. I thought that was taser at first. That'd be I great. was like, oh, damn. Yeah. <laughs> Gave a toy for me. <laughs> so mean. It is. <laughs> a crinkle ball. Yeah. Cotton mice. Fake fur mice. Cage mice. Cage mice. Wait, what? Color ball, bell ball, scratcher fish, scratcher ball, mm. tumbler toy, feather teaser, and colorful spring. Well, we'll use that feather teaser. Yeah. And the mice. Yeah. There's lots of mice. Look at all these damn mice. Oh, yeah. Your cat is going to love it. That's so uh, nice, Alex. Well, thank, thank you. you. I'll, I'll take this home, and I'm sure the kids will be like, wow, oh, look at the toys for the cat. Obi has, like... Like 50 toys, but the thing he loves the most are my socks. <laughs> like, I'll walk in the house and he just, on the other side of the room, and I just see him, he's just there holding like a destroyed sock. I'm like, oh, but he just runs away. I chase him for like an hour. <laughs> chase him for an hour? Yeah, if, if he has something, but he knows he's allowed to have it, he'll just come up and like, here, you can have it. But if he knows that he's not supposed to have this, he will run as far and as fast as possible to keep it. It's a throw of the forbidden. Yep. Yeah, the only thing, I mean, he has like a little ball that jingles, I don't know. Yeah. And then they have some kind of like stick with like two furs on mm -hmm. it, and then it has a jingle ball. Yeah. Um, and then Melanie got him a, I don't know, a cat thing. It has like a bowl up here, and a tunnel here, and then a cat scratch post here. Oh, like a cat tree kind of thing? Yeah, it's only sits like that high. Sure. So. But he's also like eight weeks old or something. Yeah, well, I mean, just bring home empty boxes. Yep. If he fits, he sits. I got, and I got laser pointers. Mm. Oh, yeah. I had one somewhere. I don't know where it went. Yeah, I, used, I used to have one from... Yeah, I, I'd play with that. And like, I would do that. Yeah. Like, have a fucking cat. You're, done. You're gonna be like, you <laughs> fucking stupid animal. And then your kids are gonna be like, what's that? <laughs> Trying to get it, you know? <laughs> damn it. Like, damn it. <laughs> um, well, thank you, Alex. Thank you, Alex. All right. From Mr. No Name. I wonder if it's a DBZ Funko. <laughs> it is. Do that, do. It is Galagun Vegeta. Galagun? Yeah, Gallic, Gallic Gun. What's a Gallic Gun? It is his uh, main move from the Saiyan Saga. It's his answer to Goku's Kamehameha. Is it like his... It is uh, like this. He charges it up. Okay, so it's not like his like secret like code message. No. Like, Gallic Gun. Hey. Nope. Peralta. Nope. Peralta. <laughs> It's our signal. <laughs> this is a Chalice Collectibles exclusive. Chalice? Yeah, very cool. There's a lot of Vegetas, but this is awesome. I love it. So we got Big Bang and Gal Gun, which are his two like signature moves. We just need No, we had Final Flash and Gal Gun. We haven't gotten Big Bang yet, I don't think. Big Bang Attack! Very cool. Oh, there's a Mecha Frieza. Fuck! That name had some creativity. Hmm. Why Gallic? Um is it a planet or anything? I think that it's the Gallic Gun because it kind of is like garlic, which, you know, um, a lot vegetables. of Saiyans have the vegetable pun, so maybe? I don't know. Though, then again, there was Garlic Jr. and the Spice Boys, so they kind of had that covered. Gallic Gun? Man, I don't know. Probably, maybe it's a Japanese, like, word. Maybe. The Gallic Gun makes you think of Gallic Gun. Gallic Gun. Gallic Gun. Various beats. Gallic Gun. Battleship Galactica. Battleship. <laughs> Battlestar. Battleship Galactic. I don't know, I've never seen it. Me either. It's on my list. I want to do it. Mm. 
Ooh. What, 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 what? It looks what? like a Kakashi ish Pikachu. <laughs> Holy shit, it, it is. It looks, look at that. It is. It is a Kakashi Pikachu. That's fun. All right. Well, since Berserk lost again, I thought it was only fair to send another deluxe <laughs> volume. Holy shit. Ooh. Also, here is a, an amazing Kakashi figure I saw from Guts. 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 This is Berserk yes. Deluxe Edition Volume 5. There's a spoiler on the back. Oh no! Kinda. Yeah, he looks cool. I don't know if he's supposed to look like that. <laughs> oh, he doesn't shit. start looking like that. Oh, thank you so much, Guts. This is the best. This is one of the coolest collectible figure raids I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> he's the best. What 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 was the bottle serving? Is that what you said? Um Sounds no, that's like probably Squirtle from right? the Squirtle would be good village. for Zabuza, right? Isn't he from the Leaf Village? Who's he from? I forget. Mm, What's that one mean? We haven't seen anybody with like plant stuff. Yeah, that'd be cool to see. I want to see a leaf village leaf person. It's like a cat toy. It is. <laughs> That's cool. I like it. Yeah, thank you. Is that officially licensed? <laughs> I don't know. You, you have the box. Uh, it's gone now. But I mean, yeah, it's Naruto and it's a Pokemon. Straight crossover. Very cool. Thank Very you. Cool. Very cool. Thank you, Guts. Thank you, Guts. This has my name. Oh, of course. Yet another. Oh. I haven't run out yet, so we don't have this one either. We're getting there. Candyland game. Ooh. Candyland. This looks pretty. This looks like a bootleg version. Ooh. Like the JPEG is not high enough quality. For Still it. counts. It could just be old, maybe. I don't know. Candyland game. Just in case you didn't know. <laughs> it's trying to tell you, Rick, this is a game. Made and marketed by Winning Moves Games. Winning Moves? Uh, celebrating over 65 years of great family fun. Great. Why'd you do this? Family. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I get it. How many more versions can there be? <laughs> he the world said in parentheses. But that's not it. There's more. From Voight to Blind Wave, special gifts for Rick from Voight. Voight! John Voight? I hope so. We have The Boys, Ooh. Volume 2. Uh, okay. Four. Oh, shit! And 6. Okay. Okay, so we're keeping with the evens. <laughs> uh, the Omnibus. Nice. Two, four, uh, definitely five. want to check that out, but I don't want any spoilers. And uh, we do have this. Canland Winter Adventure. That yeah. counts. Is it candy? You're invited to a winter oh. party. Time to take a tasty trip to Chili Mint Mansion. Contents, paper game board, 44 cards, four plastic tokens, and game rules. It might play differently, Rick. Yeah. Like, you might actually like that. It probably won't be the same. Imagine being a kid, hoping mm -hmm. there's actual candy in this. Mm. Just being I severely, thought there was candy at first. Severely disappointed. Well, you get a game. Games are fun. Don't want that to stop you, Rick. But Stop this is from Voight. Thank you, Voight. Thank, Thank you, Voight. John Voight. All right, this is my last one. All right, to finish off the pair, Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta! Nice. Oh. Man, all mine have been Dragon Ball, right? Yeah. Fuck, hell yeah, right. baby. Eric, you have to put this one together yourself. Okay, no help this time from me. All right. Mr. I know how to put things in butts. You also got a Bomba plushie. Huh? A Princess Bomba. One, that was him getting it. Two, soda! One, that was what? Who was the first thing he that, said? That was his gift. I think you opened that, didn't you? <laughs> yeah. Look, Princess Peach. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Your response to that was great. <laughs> now we all get a gift. We're watching Eric put this one together, too. It's the worst thing that you've ever had to put together without a toy. Either for yourself or your kids. Tell you the best thing that out of the package is the old Ninja Turtle figures where they had like all their weapons in that like cage thing that you had to like twist off. Mm -hmm. I love those. Had a pretty tough one recently of making like a remote controlled uh, forklift. Yeah. And the instructions were like so zoomed out and like 
like Lego would have made this like six different steps. But it was just one step. It was so far zoomed out. So hard to see where things went. I think it would be the swing set toy thing for my kids. <laughs> yeah. It's still not built. <laughs> <laughs> We've had that since 2012 <laughs> or something. Don had to redo his whole backyard to make room for one of those. Yeah, well, we had... He had, like, a jackhammer and everything. We had it the, yeah, we had it the one place, and then we were going to be moving, so we didn't put it together there. So it traveled with us during the move, and then we brought it over. Well, the new house we got is, like, on a hill. And we're like, where the hell are we going to put this? And at one point, Melanie's family was over, and her brothers and dad were, like, making a flat area over on the side of the yard. And then they stopped, and it just sat out there for a long time. Was it you that had a hot tub or a jacuzzi or something that was supposed to go in a basement? I wish. I'd love to have a hot tub. I might be thinking of house rest. <laughs> what? <laughs> that one's a much more pleasing, better, I like this one's stance a lot. Very cool. I love the outfit. Yeah. Yeah, the Vegeta awesome. one looks weird. Huh? What? Look at his knees. Yeah. Look at his knee. He's got Look at his knee there. Yeah. He's got a knee pad on? Yeah, he's got uh, Oscar Slaughter's disease. What do you have? What? Oscar Slaughter's disease. I have, I have that. You got these, like, bumps on your knee caps that make it really difficult to take a knee. I don't know. <laughs> Thank you so much. Love it. Love it. I've never heard of that. That's um, weird. I think that's how you say it. That's a weird thing. I feel yeah. like it's something you, you make up, so you don't have to need. <laughs> you know I made up Oscar slaughter. You're like in church. You're like, I got this, this disease. I can't. I can't pray. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you want this, Aaron? No, you can open it. Benjamin Banger, Aaron. Let's try to offer it to you because it's very well taped. Oh, uh, you want me to knife it? it it's pronounced Oz. Good Schlatter disease. Osgood. Osgood Schlatter disease. A childhood repetitive use injury that causes painful lump below the kneecaps. Huh. Sounds German. Uh, I, I mean, I had that when I was a kid. I don't have it now. But, like, taking a knee, like, on, like, a hardwood floor was, like, impossible for me. So you weren't a break dancer. Impossible. Well, Whoa. Looks like oh we got a god. few more to put up there. Oh my god. So this is Naruto. Episode 54. We're close. Hey. Episode 366. We're not close. Get further than that one. This one is a Grecian bottle. Ooh. Let me see. It's a puzzle. Yeah. Electro. Ooh. And Dagaba Yoda with huh. hut. Ooh, with what? Not Jabba the Hut. Oh, it was with like, that's hut. not canon. Let's be a correct volume for him, though. All right, so. Nice. Correct volume? Like, size-wise, uh, is it good? No. no. It's not at all. Biome this for is, a hut would be good in a swamp. This is like, I, I started playing Warcraft 3, uh -huh. and this is like the size of the units and the boat that they all have to get into. Really? Yeah. Because like they have like a pirate ship, right? Mm -hmm. But it's like this kind of size. Gotcha. While all the units are like much bigger yeah. than what they should be for the boat. <laughs> Houses are similar too. It's weird. Hi, guys. Hello. As I write this letter to you, I'm currently in the process of stocking up on a few supplies running around town before hurricane slash tropical storm Isaiah yeah. hits. Yeah, New no York, one can pronounce it here either. Okay, I S A I A S. I, I don't know. Is I S. Is I S. I don't know. It is. A I know that a large uh, population of people were without power because of it hmm. during Corona. Just thought I would try to get this package out to you. A fair amount of people don't care for the pops, but I will. I enjoy watching a good reaction from you fellows with pops and stuff from mailbags yeah. on the table. For each of the shows, you never know uh, when a Dagobah Yoda with Hut may come in handy. Actually, who knows? Maybe one day you will make a cool fort or wall display for real. Mm. Personally, I only started Naruto because of you all, and oh. all I can say is what is inside is definitely something you'll enjoy. Also, man, you weren't going once a week. Also, because Rick likes to punish the fans with puzzles so much, I picked you. I picked up one for you. 
There are a whole series of these early civilization ones. If you like it, I may send more. Keep safe and stay healthy, Blue Wave. It's pretty cool. <laughs> From Benjamin <laughs> Bangarang. There was one, I think it's a similar uh, company or whatever, like boxing, and it was like this. <laughs> what did I do with it? Remember, it was like a star, right? Yeah. From and last was, week. Yeah, oh. and I was like, no, it wasn't from Mailbag, though. We just, I just grabbed we it. We were looking for a Rubik's Cube. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we yeah, were yeah. trying to find a puzzle thing to use for a thing. And uh, <laughs> I was holding it, and it just all fell apart. And it's still apart. I had yeah, no idea what happened. Bad. I was like, well, fuck, I don't understand this one at all. I don't know what's supposed to do. Yeah, there's do a, that. A, well, there's a bottle, there's a wooden dowel rod, and in the dowel rod is a, a bolt with a screw. And there's also a metal like hairpin that's bent in it hmm. and there's a little wooden ball you're supposed to get everything out of the bottle and then everything back in the bottle the way it is which I, I figured out how to tighten the bolt but I think I'm supposed to loosen it so I can use the ball in order to like move the bolt but it seems to tighten it and I don't think that's the intention. lefty loosey righty tighty Rick <laughs> so yeah this is neat I'll play it I'll, I'll play around with this sweet that's, that's a puzzle <laughs> <laughs> uh, we'll be getting into this. I know the answer. <laughs> oh! no! We'll be getting into this one relatively soon, right? We're on like we're getting up to the f up to forty soon, I think, on Naruto. Yeah, we're so that'll like be soon. 30, uh, that one really far in the future. This one further in the future. Or we become so curious that we just go to five a week. We should put them up there again. Eric, put those up there. All right. I will do so. Rick, I'm loosening it. Nice. Aha! Uh -huh. yep. uh -huh. Yes! Yes! <laughs> That's it? And I'll put it back together. Uh, this is exactly the same as the other puzzle. We got 50% of the way through and you stopped. I feel like this is 10% of the way through. <laughs> How are you supposed to do that? Like, this only fits in that way. It doesn't fit in like this. Okay. Next package. Rick, you got it, right? I don't have any more. That's the last. This that is was the last one? Yeah. Okay. All right. Congratulations. I am the last one. We won. Good job. Now put it back together. We'll wait until... You got 20 seconds. Guys, thank you very much for watching this episode of Mailbag. We very much enjoyed it. Thank you so much for people that sent some stuff. Uh, if you want to send a letter or anything that you would ever want to, uh, the uh, address is down in the description, the P.O. Box. Um, and we appreciate it so much. You don't have to do it, but we very much appreciate people do. Thank you. See you in two weeks.